Hello all, this is my second spur of, uh, spawn of G-Bear and uh, yeah I have to confirm uh, which pair it is uh, I bought one uh, Asia pair and uh, one extra female but uh, I think uh, I end up with two more male and one female Uh, yeah, I have to check it out uh, who, who the parents are. And I'm so happy with this spawn, this second spawn, and they're just hatching. Uh, only a few of uh, unfertilized eggs. And yeah, I can tell you that the water is very brown and. Uh, if I close the light, you you couldn't you couldn't see through so so dark it is. I used a few Adler cones, like uh, in a one liter plastic container. You know that which one? And uh, sorry. I will show you tomorrow. Ah, here we go. There are the Likin Number fruit or oh, Amber Tree. Uh, scientific name is Likin Number Stariflula. And yeah, this tree was used to to make a cow gum. And it's a beauty at fall that. Uh, uh, it looks a bit like maple uh, leaves, but it's different to remember it, but uh, yeah, the, the bark is different uh, and uh, it's another tree. Uh, again, liquid en bar, starifluia. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's used by discus breeder. Obviously, yeah, uh, the first spawn uh, is uh, in the 45 gallons where the, my discus pair uh, was. They, they were in there and now they are in the tree uh, 50 liters. And uh, with so many gibber fry, uh, I will have to, to make more room, so I think I will sell the, I will sell them. Uh, I hope I can have uh, to begin a, a ram line with uh, extended fins. And once I have the extended fins, uh, I will try to to mix them with uh, another color. I don't like the the dark nights or the black ones. I prefer the the gold ones. The, the electric blue or the, the neon gold is, is one of my favorite colors. Uh, I love also the, the balloon electric bloom wraps. I have four of them. But yeah, this crazy guy, one of the male, the biggest male, he, he pair, uh, he breed with a, a gold female, a regular one. It's it's a good thing uh, and yeah just uh, used uh, a few of other scones because it's too it's, it's too heavy uh, to, for on the pH it will crush the, the sorry it will crush the pH and uh, and also the the cash pH. <laughs> Sorry for my French accent, guys. But yeah, I don't have that, that many eggs like the first time, but uh, I have 
like no, uh, the, the mostly all uh, fertilized. In the first moon, moon that more than the elf uh, was fungus. There are still some rutifer uh, protogen culture, but uh, yeah, yeah. they have to reserve the egg uh, yolk. Uh, that will take uh, one or two day more before they, they really start to eat. And uh, like I said so many years, uh, of course, my uh, order on eBay uh, when uh, micro worm started, but uh, I missed it up that I crushed it. Uh, I used to mesh potatoes, but uh, yeah. I didn't succeed. So I will put the yarn from Epam back. For 400 EM in a few bits just to shoot. Oh, it's really wonderful when they, those eggs start, start uh, hatching and living. And yeah, I want to do a shout out to Pittsburgh Pets. I'm ashamed, it's a long time I, I didn't show his videos, but uh, I have a... I find some inspiration, or a lot of inspiration uh, from this guy and uh, Master Dean also, with his breeder box, but I turn in a, in a larger container. But yeah, the, the in-system with the, the floating uh, breeding box is just perfect and uh, he, he had the uh, fresh water he permanently. He's dropping all the time. So it's, it's a really, it's a beautiful system. And uh, it doesn't take place, uh, place like this. So thanks uh, for watching again and see you next time for the free swimming that will be in, in the 36 hours I think so. 36, 30, uh, 84 hours. But, uh, my temperature is rising to 32 degrees now in the room.